Hi guys, it's Liv. I am making my first tutorial where I sit here and talk to my computer. So I'm sorry if I get awkward or anything because I can hear people in the hallway and I'm just hoping that no one comes into my dorm room while I do this because I feel really weird sitting here and talking to my computer. Anyway, I'm going to teach you how to put textures on videos in Windows Movie Maker. Um, this was actually taught to me by Star Wars Nerd 456 or Marissa and the um, tutorial itself was requested by Angie or Archidork Viola. Viola. I don't know how to say usernames, I'm sorry guys. Um, but I know she uses XP and I have Vista but I'm pretty sure you can do this with XP too because I know people that have XP and can put textures on their videos so I know it's possible. Um, basically the key to anything in Windows Movie Maker and making it look cool is that you have to make a rough draft video first and publish it. So I just made this thing in two seconds. It's not an actual video I'm working on. It's just something lame. Here we go. I had my headphones in so you guys couldn't hear that. <laughs> Here we go. Fail. Beautiful. So it's skipping a little, but I think that's just a result of me never turning my computer off. Anyway, so like I said, the key to most cool in Movie Maker is that you have to make a preliminary video first, publish it, and then put other stuff on it. Because the main difference between Movie Maker and Sony Vegas is that Vegas and other advanced programs have multiple movie layer video layers, and Movie Maker only has one and you need to to put a texture on it. So you publish this first video. So I'm just going to publish it and call it something stupid. No Mermaid Fearless. And the first time you publish it, I would just do best quality for playback on my computer because it's not something you're going to upload to YouTube because you're going to upload the one with the texture on it. So I will cut out this wait time. Okay, so right now, I just published the little video that I showed you, so I'm going to import it back in here. And here we have it again. It'll probably be all glitchy because I've never published while well, this thing is recording, but here it is. Okay, so we have that. And now we want to put some texture on it. I have a bunch of textures. I have moving textures. I have random colory textures. Um, you can find them anywhere or you can make your own. A lot of these I just made by myself. Like this one's retarded. We'll put this one on there because it's just stupid. Um, I made this one, by the way. So I'm not insulting anyone. Um, the first thing you have to do when you're putting on a texture, at least for me, my computer, is that you have to copy and paste the audio into the audio section and then um, mute your clip because if you overlay, I'll overlap this over the video like you have to do to make a texture um, it'll fade out the audio and you don't want that so um, to put on a texture you just put it on like that it's a transition so you just get it as far over as you can. Zoom in as much as you can. Get it in there as far as you can. You're going to miss like a half a second. It's not even a half a second. I don't know what I said. But um, usually I just fade them both in. So you can't tell that there's an extra second of video and not texture. Um, and then you have to use a translucency transition most of the time. These are the best things to use for this. Um, it's going to look really stupid. I shouldn't have picked this texture. But it'll show up there. This texture actually might look cool with comp A or B. It just depends. You just play around with what transition you want to use for these things. <laughs> Okay, so that looks really stupid, but um, 
you always <laughs> play around with your different transitions. I have a bunch. The DPL ones, those DPL transitions that you can use. Um, and you saw that at the end where it kind of blips, so usually I fade them out too. Just put fade out to black on either just the texture or both of them. Um, so then you and yeah, so that's how you put a texture on a video, and it works the same for moving textures. Sometimes they don't last very long. This one's actually really long, so that wasn't a good example. Um, <laughs> you find a short one. This one, like, it's not that short, but it's 30 seconds. So sometimes to get um, moving textures to be long enough to fit, say, a minute-long video, you'd have to put two of these together and publish it as a separate sparkle. So, like, I have this same sparkle down here that I grayscaled and made two minutes long. It's just the same sparkle over and over again four times. So that's that's basically how you put a texture on a video in Windows Movie Maker. So I hope this helps. I'm not sure I explained it very well. Um, when you publish, you just publish it after this. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave me comments because I'm better at answering things probably in comments and in words than I am in talking to my computer by myself. So thanks guys.